So that was uh, one. But this is like, that's like a staple story that I'm like so used to telling people now that I'm not that embarrassed by that I actually think is pretty funny. This next one I'm very embarrassed by and I was hoping would, no one would ever know, but everyone um, seems to know this one anyways. Not because I tell them, but because they just look and they saw it. But this happened on a Wattpad, so it wasn't too bad because it was over the internet, but I was still mortified. Mind you, on a Wattpad I have a couple like million reads, right, and I have a few thousand followers and stuff. And my most popular book, in the third book in the series, right? There was my most popular series. The long-awaited third and final book in the trilogy of a story I posted on Wattpad that had millions of views. I posted a chapter. After I was working on another book, that same book I mentioned in a video a while ago, that I wrote in a month, 100,000 words in a month, mind you, and I was so stuck in that world, but then I had to change to this other book. And one of the characters was kind of similar. So you know what I did? I wrote the entire first long-awaited chapter using the other character's name from the other book and didn't notice that there was something wrong. And the worst part of all was I posted it and it had a couple thousand reads before I read the comments the next day. So I went through and changed all of the, uh, the names back. But in the comments, there were still all these comments of people being very confused. And back then you could not delete comments. I still don't think you can. You can report them, but then I'd have those people's accounts taken down and they're like, you know, followers and fans of my writing, so I'm not gonna do that. But then you have all these comments of these people being like, who's this character? And then people who come back in later on, not knowing that this fiasco happened, were like, what are you talking about? This doesn't exist. It, 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 this didn't happen. And the utter confusion mortifies me to this day. People just were like, what? That don't, does not compute who's this character. Especially because uh, the one I got confused was the love interest, so they were like, who is this person? Who is the main character kissing in this part? Because I don't remember them existed. <sighs> Thousands of people probably still are confused, never knowing, never even figuring out what happened there. Still not knowing about my fuck up. But now they do. Next one is another error that I hoped everyone would just forget, but um, I'm bringing it up anyways. I used to write full books. I think I've written at least five books this way that people have read where every time I said definitely it was defiantly because I couldn't spell definitely for my life and instead I just put autocorrect to the first word that popped up which was defiantly. No this happened a lot like a lot of things I would just pick the first option that came up and not look if it was the right word or not. Like even like simple words like people change it to pineapple just because, just because. and people have read full books with definitely as defiantly and I Again, my mind just didn't realize that there was something wrong there. But defiantly is definitely- really? Really? I could spell it like complicated as fuck things like nephilium perfectly, but I couldn't spell definitely. My first videos on this channel are also a huge embarrassment to me because the scripts were just horrendous. Um, please don't go look them up. I have private a lot of them. Twas the night before Christmas and this bitch didn't get the memo. Why? Go to sleep. This one <clears throat> is, a, is another one that I, uh, I'm, I'm ashamed of because again, it comes back to research and look up shit first, Jenna. So basically, I once wrote a long, thought out, thoroughly edited, concerned email to my favorite author at the time. The uh, like, think of your favorite author and you notice something is wrong. You think someone's stealing their work, right? So of course you bring it up to them. You think they're gonna praise you and everything, right? And be like, oh, thank you, I'm gonna go sell this button right away and then wanna work with you and do interviews with you and stuff, right? That'd be awesome. That was what I was fantasizing, my little, like, 13-year-old brain. <laughs> so I sent this long-ass email telling her that someone took her book cover, right? You see where I'm going with this? But I didn't know at the time that the picture used for her cover could be sold to other people, you know? And that those other people could use the same cover and just, you know, like, change it, right? Just the base picture, you know? So I didn't know this. And I saw other book and a couple other books that had the same picture as her cover. And I was like, I don't think that's allowed. That I've never seen that before, that must be wrong. So when I got a quick reply back, a, a far too quick reply back, where, where she accused me of offending her agent, publisher, manager, a, like situation, whatever, um, and offending them by s implying that they sold the rights to her cover from underneath her, um, and she didn't like that I was insinuating that, apparently. And it was very, very brash, I remember. I don't- I never saved it because I was so embarrassed, and I can't remember if I put it on anonymous or not. But I was just a concerned citizen, and she just cut me down. And I was like, I did not know that. I apologize, and I don't know where she got that I was, um, 
saying that your publicist has sold the rights to your cover to somebody else to kill them or something. Like, I was just thought someone else took the cover and just edited it and changed, like, the color of it and then just, like, put it on their self-published book. That's literally what I thought had happened. And I was like, uh, I don't think that's cool. And, uh, turns out, uh, that's not what happened, and I was apparently insinuating that, um, serious legal things were going to happen. But I will probably never have a relationship with this author because of this event. <laughs> so, lesson of the day, don't talk to your favorite authors about things that your little 14-year-old brain de can't even understand. That's what you even know. Just, in fact, don't talk to them until you're at least, like, 25 and have an IQ higher than, like, 10. Or at least can research some shit. Jenna, why'd you do that? But on a lighter note that has nothing to do with, uh, writing, I once, uh, lit a girl's hair on fire with a marshmallow at camp. She wasn't enthused. It was really hard to explain why I was just beating on her back, though. I didn't want to tell her that I lit her hair on fire, because it was, it was, like, really pretty, you know? So I tried to, like, fake out, like, I totally wasn't hitting you in the back just now, but then I was like, I'm sorry, I lit her hair on fire. Guys, I lit someone's hair on fire. I've done so much. So much shit. People wonder why I just get secondhand. Like, I can't even read books with embarrassing scenes with them, guys. I run out of the room. Like, whenever Mulan... Like, I run out of the... I run out of the room at embarrassing parts of movies. Like, you know that part in Mulan where she does, like, the spitting thing and then tries to act like the guys? I can't watch that. I literally can't watch it. I'm literally, they played the movie in school once when I was in elementary school and I ran out of the room screaming. I think that should have been, like, the real embarrassing story of this. I can't take embarrassing stuff. I'm sorry. Like, I ran out- The other day, I was watching the Rapunzel before ever after thing with Steven. And, spoilers, there's a part where Flynn proposes to her, right? And it's so embarrassing because I know he's fucking it up. And I had to leave the room for 10 minutes of the 30 minute show, essentially. With my boyfriend waiting for me to come back in to watch it. And I waited in the hallway. <laughs> waiting for him to tell me that it was over and I could come back into the room. <laughs> and if you're wondering why me and my boyfriend were, uh watching cartoons, it's because I am the lost princess and I am all about that Rapunzel tangled life, okay? Like, literally for Halloween, I was Rapunzel and he was Flynn. It was only customary that we watch the show. Cat, stop with the window. I'm gonna let you in in a moment. That's all, folks.